Is this thing on? Hi guys, it's Alexandra and welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are back with another weekly video. Video. I don't know what that jingle was. <laughs> but we have a guest star today, Miss Betty Boop herself. Honestly, that'd be such a slay to have like guest stars on the channel. Let me write that down for 2024. <laughs> we have our decaf coffee because I already had one today and we cannot have two. Cannot have two. Today's a special video. I'm gonna be talking about 23 things I learned in 2023. I just turned 23 last month, so does this count? I, ho I hope it does. I hope it does, even though I just turned 23. I just thought this would be good because 2023 is ending, I'm 23, 23 things, like everything is just lining up. And not for nothing, it would just be a cool title in general, like 23 things I learned at 23 in 2023, slay. I wrote them all down and I'm ready to share my wisdom. I'm in my big sister like advice era for some reason. I don't know what's going on with me guys. I just, I feel the need to like spill wisdom every five seconds. So I wrote down 23 things and I'm gonna go through them with you guys and I'm gonna briefly explain each one. Don't wanna go too in depth because I don't wanna make this video five hours long, but you guys are gonna get some, we're gonna get into it. <laughs> so the first thing I learned out of the 23 on this list is change is inevitable. And I always knew that like deep down, but I really realized it this year the most, I feel. I graduated college this year, so I left like my schooling era. Like I was in school my entire life, elementary, middle, high school, college, and then it all just stopped. So to me, it's like, whoa. I was, I always knew change was inevitable, but this was like a crazy change for me. Guys, this is like kind of sad, but like bittersweet at the same time. But this was the first September I did not go back to school. Like that is crazy, that was insane to me. So change is inevitable and not just with that, but just with everything like people, career changes, redirection, don't expect to stay the same forever. And that could mean anything. Of course you can always have your core values that don't change. There are things that are unshakable, if you will, like morals and stuff like that. But I'm saying change is inevitable as in like, we are dynamic people, like humans are not meant to be stagnant. We are dynamic individuals, so change is just always gonna happen. So don't be scared of that. Embrace it. It might be scary, but embrace it. It's meant to better you, even if you like can't see it right now. Number two is a little harsh, but it kind of goes with what I was saying in the first one, and no one is gonna save you. Yep, no one's coming, girl. I checked, no one's at the door. No one's coming. This was something I knew as well already. A lot of these things that I wrote down are things I already knew, but I they just came more into the light for me in 2023 but yeah like i always knew like you had to work for your own things and like no one's gonna like just hand something to you but i really saw that like this year when again when i left college and stuff it's funny because in high school they always say oh you guys are gonna see in college no one's gonna help you like you're not gonna have any assistance it's all gonna be you and they were right to an extent like they were right because if you didn't do your work in college like professors did not care like you were failing you know what i mean but you were still like in the school system to an extent but now that you're like out of like school and like you no longer have like teachers to like listen to and have to like and like give assignments to like now your assignments are literally uh, in life like you have to give things in real life so it's like okay uh thanks for like the heads up but yeah like when i say no one's gonna save you is like no one's gonna work for you no one's gonna like get the job for you no one's going to get anything done for you and uh, you might have some help along the way you might have some assistance but really it's it's up to you for 99 percent of the time you might get that one percent of people that just have so much help and it feels like everything is handed to them and it probably is but that really is like one percent of people the 99 percent of people have to work towards what they want and i never want you guys to rely on someone else to give you stuff. So work towards what you want because no one's just gonna come and hand it to you. And that's the truth, girl. Number three is you don't need a lot of friends, you just need real ones. This is so true. Though I do have a good amount of friends, I would say you have to pick so wisely and the friends I do have in my life I know are gonna be like core friends that I'm gonna have forever. Because I've gone to the age where I now know like what I want my friend groups to look like, what I want the people that I surround myself to be like, 
I no longer surround myself with people that I just don't see myself being friends with them in 10 years. So you don't need a lot of friends, you just need real ones. When someone tells me, how do I pick a friend though? Like, how do you make friends? How do you know someone's gonna be a good friend? You don't know exactly how that person is gonna be if you just met them. But think about it this way. Am I gonna be friends with this person in 10 years? Are we gonna be like going to so like our kids' soccer games together? Are we gonna just be able to have a brunch in 10 years and like rant and have fun with each other? Like think about it that way. You wanna look towards long-term because when we think about friends, we think about like, are we gonna be with them like long-term? Just look at it that way. Am I gonna be friends with them in 10 years? And if the answer is like, eh, probably not, then I would say keep those friends as like, just like for fun friends. Don't keep them as like real core friends. And number four is be proactive even in the small things. Okay, so this one's gonna be a little silly, but like I'm gonna give an example and it's not gonna sound super like, whoa, out of this world, but take it and use it for other things. Let's say you're cooking. Like you're cooking and we know cooking makes a mess clean as you cook you know what i mean like get things done while you're doing one thing this could also just mean like be a good multitasker but be proactive like get things done while you're doing other things if possible try not to get stagnant on one task obviously if something demands your attention like don't go and drift off to other tasks but if you're able to multitask multitask i'm telling you like being proactive is like efficient it makes your life easier in the end and something for me is like being proactive is like let's say i just did laundry and it's folded i'm not going to leave it folded in the basket for like three days and i'm guilty of that guilty 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 because like i get so lazy i'm like no i don't want to put it away but like be proactive i'm telling you get the laundry put it away and it's done now you have a clean room you don't have to worry about anything like just be proactive even in the small things number five is fall seven times get back up eight. Ooh, girl rejection is like guaranteed in this life i know this i've gotten many no's in my life and it comes with the territory obviously fall seven times get back up eight meaning like it's okay to fail it's okay to get rejection don't use that as an excuse to stay down though i am guilty a little bit of that like when i i've gotten so many no's in my life which is like obviously again comes with the territory we are not always going to get yeses but i've been guilty of like almost like getting so upset about that and like staying down a little bit no don't do that i actually caught myself out of that really quick it happened to me like a few times i was like nope get back up girl that is not how we roll because that's meant to happen guys things don't always go in our favor we might you know want something and we don't get it but that doesn't mean like quit if it's something that you want it's something that you know you could do girl get back up eight <laughs> and i don't know who came up with the fall seven get back up eight why why not like fall 10 get back up 11 you know what i mean like why seven why eight <laughs> but that, that phrase does ring true so don't let rejection and no's keep you down and keep you from not trying again oh my god and the next one is kind of like it relates back to the one i just said but you will get a thousand no's before you get one yes and i genuinely i think that number is accurate a thousand i think for every a thousand no's you'll get one yes someone write that down for like the harvard business review to do an experiment because and again that's not to even like discourage you that's just literally to speak truth like you will get more no's than you get yeses but that but that's just how it is but use those no's as a fire to get your yes number seven is take care of your physical and mental i in the past like two years have really 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 like ingrained this because I used to like not really realize the importance of like fitness and like, you know, taking care of your mental state. Like I didn't really like put too much into account. I grew up as a dancer, so I was always an active kid, but I never really was like, yes, you need to like work out 30 minutes a day. You need to do this and that. But like now I really see that. You do need to eat like healthy. You do need to work out a little bit. I'm not saying you have to do CrossFit five times a day, but we're like going for a walk 30 minutes a day is like a very good start. If you can't get to the gym one day, like that's an amazing workout. Like, walking is like one of the best forms of exercise. Your mental state, like when you're just like overwhelmed, do things that you know will make you feel better. For me, like a mental ritual I do every day is I have to have coffee and I have to have 30 minutes in the morning to myself. That is something that has recently like happened in like the past one to two years. Specifically this year is like, I need 30 minutes to myself every morning. No one talk to me. No one say anything. Let me do my thing. And then we can get down to business. But 30 minutes at least for me to just be. And that's a practice that I use for my mental health because I, I need that time alone in the morning and then we could talk and then we could do business and then I could go on about the day. But yeah, taking care of your physical mental, like, although most of my viewers are young, 
that's where it starts. You have to start when you're young so that when you're older, trust me, your body will thank you for it later. Number eight is kind of, okay, this one's like hard to explain, but I know my manifesting girls will understand. Don't chase, attract. What I mean by this is, a lot of people are like, don't chase, but like, how do I get to my goals? Yes, obviously when people say chase your goals, I like to say work towards your goals. Put in the efforts, put in the work, and put in the steps needed to achieve them. But do not do it out of like a desperation. Do it out of passion and out of purpose, which is different. Desperation is like, oh my god, if I don't get this, this is like the end of the world. That's like desperation, and that's when you don't, that's what you don't want to do towards your goals. And I understand that now, because all the times looking back where I was like a little bit more on the desperate side, I didn't really get what I wanted. And I'm not sure if there's a science behind it or what it was, but when I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna be chill. When I just did the work and didn't like worry about the end result and just like put in the hours and was like, I put in the work, it's gonna happen. It usually did, which is kind of crazy because I wasn't thinking about the end result, but I was still working towards it. So work towards your goals, but don't chase them in a in a state of desperation because that's when like things are just gonna run from you. Because think about it, someone's chasing someone, what's the other person doing? Most likely running. So don't chase someone, attract them. When you attract, it comes to you. When you chase, it runs from you. There's a difference. Next one is find balance. And this one's simple, just find balance between work and play. Like, know when you have to drill down and put in the hours, put in the work, and know when you can also enjoy the fruits of that. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people are gonna say, no, just work at it, work at it, and then enjoy it like later on in life. Yes, put in as much work as you can while you're young. I believe in that. But if you're not also just having some enjoyment within that work, you are just going to like hate life and that's just no way to live either. So put in the work, do what you have to do, but then enjoy some of the fruits of that work. Don't just like completely like work, work, work and then enjoy nothing from all the work you've put in. You know what I mean? Just find balance. And next one's kind of funny because it kind of goes with that, but FOMO is real. Like I learned that this year. I used to not have FOMO guys. When I was younger, like Every, every kid could go to a birthday party and I was like not upset like I was I did not have FOMO but like I would say past 20 like when I hit 20 the FOMO got so bad and I don't know why I have no idea why I got so much FOMO out of nowhere when I used to not have any as a kid or a teenager which is insane but yeah FOMO is real so again no when to work and when to play but like <laughs> It's okay if you have FOMO, it's not, you, that doesn't make you weird, that doesn't make you like not disciplined, not at all. But it's just like, this is kind of like my funny one, because it's like, I didn't realize this until really this year. I'm like, well, I really do have FOMO and it's not good. <laughs> and number 11 is kind of my favorite ever, but it's like fake it till you make it. I've said this like a lot of times on my TikTok with my series that I do on there, the hot girl tips, you guys already know. But fake it till you make it is just so real. Like. If you just believe that you are that person, or if you just believe that you are that girl, you are that girl. And that's it, no questions asked. So, take it till you make it, because eventually you will have just made it and you didn't even realize. Because you were faking it. <laughs> and number 12, <laughs> another funny one, but like, animals are still like the most precious things on this earth. Like, I have my one dog and she's like my entire world. And every year I just like realize it more and more. I'm like, wow, animals, like, we don't deserve them. Not at all. Not at all. And whenever I see a sad video on TikTok of like a dog or a cat, like I immediately pull like not interested because I'm like, don't show me a sad video of a dog or cat. I will cry and I will ask if I can adopt them. It's not okay. And number 13 is say yes. I know I'm like an advocate for like, you know, like if you don't think something's right for you, say no. And I agree with that. But like, if there's like an opportunity that arises that you're just like, hmm, I don't know where I would fit in this, but like it does seem interesting, just say yes to it. Literally just say yes and try it. You never know. It could be the thing that like changes the trajectory of your life. Like even if you're not 1000% confident, if you, there's still if there's something in you that's like, hmm, what is that? Just say yes to it. You never know. Literally, you never know. Number 14 is travel if you're able. I did quite a bit of traveling this year, which like I say travel if, travel if you're able. I mean like if you're able to travel outside the country. Travel doesn't even have to be like outside the country. If you could just travel to, to a different state or just travel to a different like part of your state or something that's like, it doesn't have to be this extravagant trip, but if you're able to travel, please do so. Like it's so refreshing to see different perspectives and to just go to different places and see that not everything is your hometown. That not everyone and not every thought process is like circled around your hometown. It's so important. Like, I, I'm such an advocate for traveling. And when someone tells me, like, no, I'm not going to do anything, I'm like, rethink that. 
rethink that. It doesn't have to be something expensive and it doesn't have to be something extravagant. It could literally be just tra like driving to another state for the weekend. Travel, see a different perspective. I promise like not everything is like what you see on a day to day basis. There's other people out there. There's a whole world out there. And if you're able to see it, like, see it. Next is put yourself out there more. And I'm pretty good at this already. Like, I can go up to anyone and, like, introduce myself and, like, feel fine. And I'm pretty good with, like, making friends and stuff. But, like, putting yourself out there is, like, even in the most uncomfortable situations. Like, this year, I've, that I've, I've really tested my limits with that. Because I'm pretty good at putting myself out there. But I've realized, like, now that I'm, like, out of school and, like, actually, like, having to face, like, the world, it's, like... Hmm. <laughs> now I really gotta just like dive into this and like everyone has to know me. Everyone has to know what I do. Everyone has to know what I am. And like, I just have to introduce myself to every single person I see. <laughs> and that could be intimidating, not gonna lie, because cause you could feel like a lot of these people are more experienced than you or they're just, they are just older than you. you. You might even feel like they have more to offer than you, but it's like, everyone is a person, remember that. And putting yourself out there is just so important. And I really had to like, get into that this year even though I've already been good at it my whole life I just really had to get into it like crazy this year next is consistency is more important than perfection and ain't that the truth girl because you could try to be perfect all your life will you ever achieve it nah no perfection doesn't really exist if I'm being honest but you know what does exist being consistent if you say every day I'm gonna do so and so for an hour and you do it that's consistency and that exists that like that's something tangible that you can do and that's something you can also say that you've done. If you are working towards something and let's say you don't do it perfectly every day, but you do it every day, then that is something tangible and that is something that you are actively working towards. And eventually that consistency turns into betterment and that betterment turns into you accomplishing the goals that you want. So consistency is just way more important than perfection, guys. Don't spend your whole life trying to be perfect and then end up getting nothing done. Number 17 is the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Woo! I should say that again. The grass is not always greener on the other side. And I know we, we live in the social media age where everyone's life just seems so perfect. It's like, oh my God, how can they afford that big high rise apartment in New York City? Like, how are these people going on so many lavish, lavish vacations? And it feels like their life is a movie. Like, how do they do this? No one knows what goes on in everyone's life. We think we know because we're on social media and social media gives us this false pretense that we know everything about someone. You don't know how many people are probably struggling to do what they're doing, but they're just showing you the best parts of their life and not showing you the worst. No one really knows. So the grass is not always greener on the other side. And let's say someone's life is perfect. They're absolutely struggling with something. We all struggle with something. We all have issues with something. Grass ain't always greener. It's only greener where you water it. Now 18 is start that thing. The thing that you're thinking of, the one that you're literally thinking of right now. Whatever thing it is that you said that you've wanted to start for the longest time that you didn't get to start this year, fine. But January is around the corner. Start that thing, whatever thing that was. For me, I started it last month. <laughs> and it was this channel that it was something I was like, you know what, like, I just needed to start. I need to feel like I have something that I'm doing consistently that is on a schedule every week. And I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel. I've always had this channel. I've always posted my shorts on here and my YouTube covers and stuff. But I never had like a weekly channel thing. And I was like, I really want that. I really want to start like an actual consistent YouTube channel. And you know what, I started it. And I finally started my thing and I have many other things that I want to start, but this was just one of them that I really wanted to and I got to it. So you start that thing, whatever it is that you said you've been wanting to do for the longest time. Next is how you treat yourself sets the bar of how people treat you. If you treat yourself like you're not important, people won't treat you like you're important. If you don't treat yourself well, if you don't present yourself well, if you don't take care of your mental and physical health, I mean like people are not gonna treat you with the same respect that you don't give yourself. Give yourself the same respect that you wanna get from people. But like educate yourself, do what you have to do and like carry yourself the way you want to be viewed as, you know what I mean? If you wanna be viewed as a confident person, act confident because babe, if you don't act confident, no one's gonna think you're confident and they're not gonna treat you like that. You set the bar of how people treat you. And yes, let's look at the other side of this. People can still treat you bad even if you're a good person to them, even if you present yourself well. I'm not saying they're not gonna be a few stragglers, but for the majority of the time, if you treat yourself well and you present yourself well, more often than not, people will treat you with the same respect back. Number 20 is don't listen to people whose life you don't want. Like if someone's living a life that you're just like, 
yeah, that's that's not really my goal. Or if they're doing things in life that you're just like, I don't plan on doing that when I'm older. More often than not, don't take their advice so heavily. I'm not saying you can't take their tips or their wisdom. Like, there are things that people can share that, like, are helpful. But if they're like, no, don't do that. Like, you want to go for that type of career? No, don't go for that. Don't do that. But, like, their life is not something you want. Like, don't take their advice so heavily. And that's not to be mean to certain people. That's not to put them down. But it's, like, it's just, like, very, like, standard. Like, if I don't want my life to look like yours, I'm not gonna model my life after your advice. You know what I mean? Take their tips, take their wisdom, but like if they're so if they say very strongly for you not to do something or if you wanna like try something new and they're like, oh my god, don't do that. Mm. Don't really take it so heavily. And number 21 is celebrate the small and big wins. I have a lot of trouble with this. I don't really like, I don't like to celebrate things very much. Like when I hit a milestone or something, like I don't really like to celebrate as much. I don't know, something about like celebrating wins. I, I like to celebrate when something's like very big rather than like something small. But it's important to just like be proud of the small things you do too because those small things are what contribute to the big things that you accomplish later. And this is probably one of my favorite things that I've learned. When life gives you lemon, make orange juice. What? What? <laughs> Girl, what? What? Yeah, what I mean by this is obviously people are like, oh, when life gives you lemon, make lemonade, duh. Yeah, but like sometimes life doesn't hand you what you need. And sometimes we don't get cards that are very good cards to be dealt and that's okay but when life gives you lemons let's say these lemons are something that you know you could have done without but you know life gave it to you anyways make orange juice turn it around you have the power to turn it around because that is a beauty of willpower and just like perseverance to be honest life can give you lemons and those lemons might be a little rotten that's okay turn it into orange juice find a way to make orange juice instead you don't have to make lemonade just because life gave you lemons I hope that makes sense. People are probably listening to me like, girl, okay, what? Lemons, orange juice, bananas, what? <laughs> but actually, like, this is just me saying, like, you have the power to turn it around. Just because you get certain cards out in life does not mean you have to stay with those cards. You could turn it around, maybe do a flush, maybe go all in, <laughs> play some poker. <laughs> and number 23 was actually my senior quote in high school. And I think it was my middle school quote as well. It's just always stuck with me my entire life. And though I have trouble following it sometimes, I like to refer back to it whenever I'm feeling doubtful. And it's everything you want is on the other side of fear. And ain't that the truth, girl? Because it genuinely is true. Like the reason why most of us don't start that thing that we want to start or don't like ask that person out or don't apply to that you know, school program is because we're scared. We're scared of rejection, we're scared of not being good enough, or we're scared of like wasting our time. Everything you want is on the other side of fear. So if you're able to surpass the fear of whatever doubt it is that you have, trust me, you are one step closer to getting to where you wanna go. And yes, obviously it's gonna be scary. You're gonna be scared. It's not that you're not, the fear is gonna go away, but you just have to find a way to like turn that fear into like a little bit of drive. <laughs> Use it as like a fire almost. But that was the 23 things I learned at 23 in 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow me on my socials. Hope that was some good big sister advice for you guys. The year's almost over so I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in this year. I know I just started doing these long form videos like five weeks ago but for the people that have subscribed to me from my shorts and just from everyone that has been coming to my channel, thank you guys so much for your support and love. And I hope this new year brings you everything you want in life. Be sure to just go for it. Go for that thing that you've been wanting to go for. Handle things with grace. Treat yourself with grace. Hope you accomplish everything you want to accomplish in this following year. New video every Sunday and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.